What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for the Future Restore tool for Windows. As you probably know, the Future Restore downgrade or upgrade tool was released for Windows a couple of days ago, but was extremely buggy. The safety checks were not working and of course it was a little bit finicky to use. However, it has been updated and thanks to OPA334, we also have now the security checks in place. Now a tutorial has been made available by developer Lightman here and it's actually a very complete and very nice tutorial on how to use this step by step in order to upgrade an A12 device or even lower to 14.3 with Future Restore on Windows. So if you're planning to update your device in order to get you know the ODC jailbreak and so on and want to go from 13.5 or 13.7 or 13.4 or even 12 and so on to 14.3 and jailbreak with ODC when it gets released but you miss the opportunity you can now use the Future Restore that was released by OP a developer here and you will be able to follow the tutorial released by Lightman which as I said is very complete and you should be able to get the 14.3 in no time. Yes there are a couple of things that you need to know for example the fact that you should definitely specify the SEP and the basement manually. OPA334 said in here quote A12 restore to 14.3 succeeded now on the latest Windows build of future restore thanks to Lightman on Reddit for testing. Need to manually specify the 14.4 basement and SEP. The latest SEP argument gives the wrong SEP for some devices including A12 which previously caused the FTR error but now with the EMG4 tool fixed it will prevent the restore from starting in this case. So now even if you select the wrong files that are not compatible with your device there should be safety checks in place and you should be able to you know basically correct your error before breaking your device. They also posted quote actually you can probably disregard the warning now that the EMG4 tool is fixed. The Windows build should now be on par with the Mac OS except for the iRecovery driver problems which are out of my control. Of course something important needs to be known here. This actually works pretty well but it only works with the A12 and lower devices. This doesn't support the A13 and A14. So if you're preparing to use the Future Restore you can either compile it yourself using the compile script available here on GitHub or you can get a pre-compiled version from OPA334. So the Future Restore 190 here that was published two days ago seems to be marked as the latest release. Now if you have blobs saved with either TSS Saver or with the Telegram bot or with any other tool that can save blobs, you should be able to use them using the Future Restore and you should be able to use this tutorial here in order to get the 14.3 from any version. And you should definitely get the 14.3 if you're running a very very old iOS version because we're going to get the ODC jailbreak rather soon which will support 14.3 and lower and at the same time you would be able to benefit from all the iOS 14 features as well. For example if you're running iOS 11 or you're running iOS 12 or even a very early version of iOS 13 like 13.1, 13.2, even 13.4 and so on. And if you can live without your jailbreak for a couple of weeks but update the 14.3 you can definitely do so right now. If not and you want the Odyssey jailbreak to be released first before updating you can definitely do so as well and you can update when the jailbreak is out but do make sure that 14.4 doesn't get unsigned before you do it. Because we don't know for sure if the 14.5 will have compatible SEP and baseband for the 14.3 upgrade and downgrade. So it's definitely an important thing to keep in mind. While the betas may be compatible, we don't know about the final version. So yeah, if you want to prepare to get the ODC jailbreak in the near future and you're running Windows and not Mac OS or Linux, you can now use your blobs in order to do proper upgrades and downgrades with them on Windows using the Future Restore by OPA334. So definitely check it out, but do keep in in mind that developer OPA334 is still working on it, they still provide updates and they are still fixing some of the issues. So if you want to wait a little bit longer, you can definitely do so and it will be no problem. But yeah, if you want to get the 14.3 to have more chances on getting the ODC jailbreak for iOS 14, you can definitely do so. However, if you're running 14.4, you should definitely keep in mind that you cannot downgrade even though you have the blobs because downgrades without a non setter are not possible. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.